Okay, so here's a little video on how the Holly EFI LCD screen works. My camera will work here. Okay, I'll power this thing up. might be a little crooked because I'm holding my camera okay first off you can go to the config file right now I just got a little 10 psi pump gas tuning because I was out testing the other night and I ran out of E85 so I put pumping it to get home so the LCD will sync up to the dominator before you can do anything okay you can go to home configuration fuel um, I don't really use the screen for any of this but you could change it if you didn't have a laptop um, it'll bring up your alarm table so if you have E85 in it and go to pump gas or vice versa it will bring up a learn table you drive around you transfer over to your base VE table if you touch that right there so that's pretty basic um, system you can change um, I use a laptop everything else but if you wanted to um, something simple like individual cylinder you can add fuel per cylinder pull timing out I've got three degrees out in five and seven five percent in on five and seven to keep it cool so you can do all that on the fly um, spark same thing um, you can change your base timing table if you absolutely wanted to um, I use this thing mostly for boost if I don't want to get my computer out. I've got a real soft boost by time curve in it right now. You can see down there it's got a real easy curve in it and it's only making 10 pounds on the gate so it's probably making waste gate. It's probably making 6 pounds of boost total on pump gas. But if you want to change this you can just grab the graph anywhere really and just drag it down and as soon as you do that it's automatically saved in the holly. So it's all on the fly. Or you can also do this. This is kind of easy. You just double click one of the cells. Um, if you want to turn it up to 20 pounds at that time, you just hit OK. Changes it. I'm going to change it back to 10, though. Bam. So it all it's all instant while the car is running. Um, Let's see, if you have any nitrous on the car, you can change those settings. If you have an ADE, water meth, any of that stuff you can change. You can also swap tunes, you just hit open. Pulls up your SD card. You can, I got several tunes on here. Um, you just, uh, here's a boost by time. Open. It's loading the tune right now. Bam, it's done. So we can go in here, configuration, boost, boost by time, and then there's a harder tune up right there, a, big, a bigger boost curve. So that's what you can do with that. You can change the boost settings, timing, whatever. If you don't have a computer, um, I'll close out of this exit program yes <clears throat> okay now I use this mostly for the gauges um, pull that up okay so here's kind of like a race pack style view you can change all these I use this at night it's really bright. Um, there are several different designs. Um, you know, here's one that I guess you could use. It's just a lot of shit. If you want to change any of them, you just click the gauge. That's the gauge. Air fuel left. Oh. You can change any of these to read different things. The one I use besides this one is this one right here. Because it's got RPM mile an hour, it's got fuel level, you can see it's real sensitive. Well, it's 
I'll, I'll start the car and show you. But I got trans temp, air fuel, target air fuel, closed loop compensation, timing. This is what I drive around all the time on besides this one. Now I'll start the car so you can see how fast it reacts. I just realized it's funny to open it, but I'll send this to you. 